might be able to kill that Panzerwerfer. Gets a great shot in and kills it dead on. Good job, allies. So at least you knocked that out. Valentine wasn't worth uh <laughs> bruh. Wait, Boris Johnson, you literally didn't do anything. Wait, is this the real Boris Johnson? Hello everyone, this is a Grey Shot 170 here bringing you another COH2 replay. This is a 4v4 on Port of Hamburg, and this is technically supposed to be uh, a Patreon day where RNG gods get to pick the replays. However, none of them send them to me. Nor do they get any B4 Chon supporter replays, at least, you know, between the last patch and the new patch. So what am I supposed to do? Well, go to the Shock Troop tier and get someone from there. So, someone here is a Patreon supporter. So, once again, thank you very much for supporting me. I'll tell you who it is at the very end. But in any case, you want to support me, make sure you hit that like, subscribe button down below. Make sure you absolutely, if you want to, go the extra mile. Check out my Patreon for all sorts of extra features like Discord access, early access to videos, uh, usually in large groups. <laughs> like, I'm getting better at putting them up. I'm getting better. Actually, there's a lot of content up right now. Um... Yes, I could say that. Anyway, um, the other things I'll say is you get um, you get access to emojis and a few other different perks like uh, early access to, um, to streams, like priority access, stuff like that. I try to give a wide variety of features and a nice artwork. There you go. All sorts of cool stuff. But in any case, like I said, Grey Shop Productions on Patreon or just hit that like, subscribe button on YouTube. Either way, helps me out a ton. What is it help me out as a double engineer... Yeah, these Stern Pioneers are literally just going to wreck you really bad. Yeah, Stern Pioneers are easily pushing you back. Like, oh, shoot. That's bad. MG moving on up. Again, uh, we got... Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to go over names. Oh, my God. I'm so busy promoting myself. We got... Oh, my God. Well, now I know I didn't go over names. We have Boris Johnson, CC, Lucky Paper, Akuma, The Clean, Talon, 1, 2, 3, and IR. I can't tell ranks because I'm offline. Um, but, yeah. Okay. Pretty diverse set here. We got NG42 in this building, overwhelming that British unit. Unfortunately, they're not going to be able to throw that uh, flare on here for artillery support. Grandier's being pushed back. Volk squads, though, holding the line. On the far right, Germans taking over this sector. Riflemen trying to help out. Yeah, so, uh, again, clean Talon, 1, 2, 3, and Spartacus with uh, 1, 2, 3 over here trying to help out. I guess he really doesn't want to. The clean's kind of in mid, and the other two guys were fo focusing on left. I guess they thought they could double-team this area. Unfortunately, the Germans just beat them to it with the Vermont support and the OKW uh, infantry uh, fr for frontline combat. They're pretty much annihilating these guys, so good job there. MG opening fire. Uh, Pansful Slayer's trying to help out, but yeah, they need to be behind some cover. Meanwhile, have a, a rear echelon going in from behind, but it's not doing that much in that building because there's only one window. The other guy's looking out this way. He's like, what should I do? There's no one on this side. And then his crew member died. It's like, okay, the window's open and then dies. Anyway, Refman's still trying to hold. We have a mortar and a few other troops, but they're going to be pushed back by the Grandiers pretty easily. I don't see much stopping the Germans on this side. MG, most likely, I'm assuming, either going to heal or they're going to help out with this MG to kind of lock this area down. We shall see. Meanwhile, mortar pits going on this side. We have an MG over here. Uh, up to Vet 1, pretty much countering the armor with Volk squads coming on the flank. All So far, these Germans are doing really, really well in terms of flanking and getting around. Clean, uh, mortar pit could do a lot of damage. Again, over opening fire against these MGs. But right now, its priority is that Volk squad. And on it, oh my god, the bricks just flying everywhere. And it looks like they'll do exactly what they need to. They'll help uh, win, that, uh, win that battle, although even though the Volk Squad didn't get close enough to throw incendiary in there, still did a decent amount of damage. Meanwhile, we do have a lot of mortars on this side with the American. I'm noticing that. Uh, we have a caches going up. So it looks like Talon Fury is trying to help out the allies with supplies. Not a bad idea, but I'm assuming he doesn't. And no, okay, yeah, he doesn't have really any frontline troops. Doctrine-wise, we have Grand Defensive. The Pensful Slayers and Tiger. Rifleman Company, we got the Easy 8 and it's White Phosphorus. We're artillery with all the artillery in the world. Sparkiss with defensive tactics. Why the fuck did you go this? Uh, I mean, 
yes, it has anti-tank overwatch, so it's a little bit better. It does have the heavy machine gun and heavy mortar. Still, I'm curious. It's not amazing, uh, I, I would say. Yep. 123 went armor company, even worse. Akuma, nothing. Lucky paper. Again, we already went over that. Festing armor, so a lot of support and artillery. And German infantry, a lot of infantry bonuses. With anti infantry weapons. But overall, Germans not doing half bad. But supply wise, even though Germans are getting more fuel, allies getting more munitions. My cat is currently running in circles. Don't know why. Unfortunately, Grandiers probably won't win this fight. Just. Oh, wait. Nope. He's bringing up more men. And a half track with them. Oh, my God. Yay! We got ourselves more clown cars on the German side. I need to figure out what... what I, I need to figure out what what the heck... Uh, what is it? The... Uh, shoot. Oh, what's the terminology I'm looking for? The, the damage with that MG compared to the scout car. I know it does this where you can entrench it. It will do a lot better. So, and I think it will cause a suppression over time. Yep, deal suppression. So it will suppress over time. Meanwhile, Germans seem to be losing this area slowly but surely. Most likely from that mortar pit, I assume, busting out the MG over here. Mortar pits, though, are causing hell to that look. Oh, mortar pit fires causing hell. British and uh, Soviets slowly retaking the area. With concentration fire barrage coming in. Up. Oh, okay. Flares coming in over there. We'll see how things go. Allies pushing in mid. Overall, Germans being pushed back in a lot of fronts. Mortars coming from two different directions like that. Keep them at bay. But we do have the scout car coming on in. It's going to murder this thing. Guaranteed. Anyway, uh, penal troops moving on in. Again, penal is very good in terms of overall attack power. And grabbing a flamethrower too, which is going back to the, I'm assuming, would go back to the good old days when the penal troops only had flamethrowers. And nobody used them because of it. Now they have PTRS rifles, people are like, we may want to use them now. We may want to use them. Any case, MG still holding them back with Panzer Grandiers holding this point. Honestly, grab the flamethrower and burn out the penal troop inside. Be like Leonardo DiCaprio and how, uh, was a, a once upon a time in Hollywood. Again, just great use of a flamethrower in that movie. Great use of a flamethrower. Any case, uh, bottle grenade already used and, oh, now he picks up the flamethrower. Pets both players like, fine, if they won't take it, and by the way, they died, I'll take it. And yeah, they pushed them back pretty effectively. All engineers still lived. Allied forces are pushing over here, taking this point. Scout car causing havoc, and I'm um, assuming, yeah, it looks like at least one mortar pit was killed. So that's good, or mortar was killed. Uh, German forces taking back mid. He's also upgrading his men with an additional slot. So you don't know what this does. G43, additional guy, rate of fire, and free healing. Overall, bad news for the allies. Flank coming in, though, on the rifleman. Should be able to knock out this pack gun. CC really needs to bring up some more support. He has no front lines. He's fully relying on the jer this, sorry, this OKW player, who luckily brought in the Lukes to murder the rifleman and going to force them back. Now, we do have artillery coming in. This might be an issue because... What this is going to pretty much stop is any OKW offensive in this area region. Because I'm assuming the artillery is just going to bomb anything coming through here. So he has to be very lucky. Otherwise, one good shot and he's going to die. Am I really going to talk shit and there's nothing going to happen? Wow, he walked right through it. Okay. he. I'm assuming he only has one building. Right? One building? Yeah, he's only one building. Okay. Really don't... I don't know. I really wouldn't call that in unless you have two. I, like the concentration fire brought... Like this. Concentration Barrage. I, I, I don't know why you would necessarily call that in unless you have two. Because with one, it's just a light pepper. Anyway, Bofor just chilling. It's doing rather, rather well. Now, he has a 45mm. He could switch it to anti-infantry. Uh, anti and it looks like he is doing that. Wait. I think he's doing it. No, he's switching the anti-armor. Oh, I'm assuming to hold back the loot. Penal going on that. That's dead. Say goodbye. Ooh wee! Pack on getting a bad case of explosions right there. German players managing to take mid, while though the MG over here, Vickers uh, using its range to knock that sucker out. Uh, half track blew up, but Grand Hears got out just fine, and are taking the north, which is an issue. Also, I just realized that the scout car did kill the cash over here, so that is cutting into Talon Fury's manpower that unfortunately has been wasted this game. 
Uh, more defenses coming on over here. So we have the Ford base, the mortar, and the Bofer. And it looks like the Germans will be unable to break that for right now. They don't have any artillery. We have plenty of MGs to hold back infantry. And we stole the AT gun to hold back the Lukes. When heavier stuff comes in, it might change. But for right now, they're doing fine. Stern Pioneer's coming on the flank. MG trying to suppress. Grandiers, though, could get a nice rifle grenade. Uh, synchronization going off. Boris Johnson trying to show he is competent at something, but I think we all know that that, that is simply not the case. That that, that That's not going to happen. Mortar Pit uh, opening fire and just wrecking this thing. And we have a lot of Soviet forces coming in. Boris Johnson fires, gets a nice shot on the target, but it is very close to dying. This other squad is also very close to Actually, I think he did kill that engineer squad, so good job there. But I think this Grenadier squad is about to die. So, uh, Boris Johnson, I think it's time that you you run away before, uh, yeah, you lose more men. Any case, uh, bunker going up. We have multiple infantry forces kind of covering. Vickers machine guns over here, just chilling. Uh, Stuart could, not Stuart. Luke's could engage this, but let's worry about the, I mean, like, if it gets close enough behind the building, it should be fine. Meanwhile, massive infantry battle going on. We have riflemen in mid trying to engage the uh, German forces, although we have an MG here, and I'm assuming this thing's gonna set itself down, which is, uh, again, set itself down for uh, suppressing. So this entire area, I don't think the Allies will advance unless they have smoke, which they really don't. Oswin coming in, wrecking house, but Valentine coming in, doing a lot of damage to the Oswin. Any AT? Pack guns moving on up. Hensful Slayer Squad sitting could over come over here and do a uh, AT grenade shot. And, uh, yep. That was an utter waste. That was a complete and utter waste. And Valentine might just go left. We have artillery coming in. That's a good hit. I think both of them are now made. Both buildings. So we'll have one. Air burst. One shot. Second shot. Wait, maybe not. Maybe not. Nope, he hasn't built it yet. Oh my god. I mean, to be fair, God Valentine. So those are what, 60? No, 80. They're 80. So yeah, it's quite expensive. Anyway, uh, German's trying to grab the munitions. He's actually placing mines here. That's a bit risky to place so close to the front. Stuka coming in, doing some damage. Allies still holding on, though. Barely, but they're holding. Uh, how many Stukas did you get? You have one Stuka and a Luke's. Okay, I, I want to make sure you're not spamming. And if so, then criticize you, because goddamn, that was, uh... Oh, look, I, I know a lot of people are like, go artillery, but then as soon as the enemy gets tanks... You better have a good defensive line, because, oh boy, you can be wrecked pretty damn hard. Now, uh, we got the Valentine tank coming in and just saying F you to the mines, just quickly clearing them, because, well, tanks don't give a shit about S mines, so we'll just run them over. Uh, MG being smoked out, good idea, get close. Um, meanwhile, we saw riflemen over here as well, so they have this area locked down. This will be pretty much removing the stable fuel the Axes have. Right now, they still have the south, but they've been kind of wishy-washy with this one. So we'll see if they can still hold it. Valentine Tank keeping its distance to uh, knock out the Pensful Slayer Squad. Doing a good job there retreating. This guy's upgrading his uh, rifleman with bazooka teams. I, I, He has a lot of bazooka teams. I would give him some bars. Do you... Wait, okay, hold on. Do you have bars? No, you don't. I don't see any. So really, just upgrade them with bazookas. So he's really worried about armor, but... I mean, to be fair, the Axes have double fuel right now, so I can see it. And even though you're still not doing too bad with fuel. You're not doing great, but you're not doing too bad. Uh, we have, so far, no medium armor on the Axis. I'm sorry, the Allied side. Axis did have medium armor. Formed an Oswin at Panzer IV. Oswin did bite the bucket, or, sorry, bit the bullet on the, uh, uh, from the Valentine tank coming in. But so far, it looks like Panzer, uh, we are going to get two Panzer IVs helping on right. Uh, Stuart, by the way, still alive and just gonna wreck this, uh, infantry section. Again, not sure what the plan was. No AT really as a Piot, but it's not gonna do all that much. We do have a triple attack over here. It looks like they're really, they're, they're throwing everything they have at this one front, which is a smart plan. Again, you need to focus. Fortunately, stun grenade goes off from the Stern Pioneer squad, pins them. Bottle grenade would have been a little bit better with the stun, but hey, they didn't move, so it works. Forces coming on in, trying to push them back. And it might work out. Uh, ally, I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of allies. Oh, damn, heavy mortars coming in, just wrecking house. 
Stuka, though, coming in. This could be a big one. Uh, nope. Kind of whiffed it, honestly. Stuka, you whiffed it. Now get the hell out of there, because the Germans cannot hold for much longer. There is an MG they can set up, and again, they still have the Steward over here. But they have PTRS guys coming in on the side, so the Steward is going to need to pull back before a good barrage comes in, or a satchel is thrown on it. Aw, oh, damn it. There goes the squad right there. Now, luckily, this... The, the, uh, sorry, not the steward, the Lukes. God damn, I keep mixing up my light tanks. The, the Lukes can still do a damn good job of killing infantry while the MG suppresses them. He might actually kill the squad right there if he focuses fire. It looks like he won't. He's going to focus just on the infantry. There's too many, uh, forces here again still. I would pull back with that MG. You're being flanked and, yeah, it's, a uh, it's, a uh, no win scenario. Anyway, we have heavy panzer corps going online, so at least he has something to help. Uh, will that win him the game? I'm not sure, but it'll try. Oh, absolutely. He'll, he'll definitely try. Um. Anyway, scout car coming on the flank. Might get the AT gun, although Blob isn't back in town. Looks like uh, Talon's like, no, I'm going to focus mid now. And to be fair, he's uh, got himself a sizable army, so that scout car and the few Grand Air squads going to need to fall back to a better defensive position. Either that or get some hell of a good rifle grenades on that target meanwhile allies barely holding on to subunits like the bofer and this at gun in terms of health and overall like defense but overall there's nothing stopping them honestly this guy's so far away the stukas haven't like, this guy's had a couple like two or three good barrages and hasn't really been able to penal's trying to take mid panzer force doing what they can to assist up north but the bazooka teams aren't helping luckily this grand ear squad is just murdering a lot of these men and gets another squad wipe on the rifleman panzer four taking too much uh panzer strike fire needs to pull back a t gun might get a final shot on it no bounce saves it pen would have killed it but no lucky bounce panzer fours need to pull back though luckily i believe that yep there is a mechanized building back here unfortunately no upgrade for healing so he's gonna have to manually heal Meanwhile, we have more armor coming in. More Panzer IVs actually coming on the flank with MG42s. Stuka's coming in, murdering the Major and helping kill the AT guns if they would have survived from the Panzer IVs moving up. Meanwhile, Panzer IVs are advancing. Oh my god, Orange needs to pull the hell back. Luckily, SU-85 moving on in with a lot of Bazooka teams. Panzer IVs walking into a death trap. But I don't think they realize it. Bazooka team opening fire. Giving them hell. SU-85 as well giving them hell. Panzer IV should be able to escape if... Yep, there we go. Pop smoke. We also have, I believe, more smoke coming in. SU-85 desperately trying to get target. Smoke should block it. And Panzer IV should be able to escape. Meanwhile, these guys... I, I would, If I were them, I would Panzerfaust that sucker to stop them in their tracks. We do have an airstrike mixed in with the smoke. So we could see something coming in. Oh, Frag Bomb comes in. Would have been better to drop it a little bit earlier. But alas, not the case. And misses the Frag Bomb. Grand Zier's pulling back. Uh, still a lot of riflemen coming on in. Double Howitzer's opening fire in this area. Artillery's pushing him back. Dr Allies really focusing on that. Light Artillery with the Howitzer's. And, other, and even though the base artillery, I wouldn't call it light. It's still maybe not as severe as some other piece of artillery. Maybe medium. Medium for that. Anyway, a lot of infantry coming on in. Luckily, there's double MG. I think they should have moved this one up a little bit because it's not really suppressing the major blob. Also, our person grounds would be better. Just start shredding them. Anyway, uh, Panzer IV moving on in. This other one's still healing. Uh, although, it can at least get some nice shots. Penal's now moving up. Needs to pull back before Satchel's thrown. Satchel, too late. It's about to be thrown on target. It will be thrown on target. There it goes. And honestly, he might charge to try to kill the unit. That's what he tried to do. Yeah, might kill it there. Does with the MG. Good kill with that. Bulldozers on the field, but don't expect it to fight armor all that effectively. Maybe try to kill the MGs. Still a flank over here as possible. No MGs blocking this area. Um, I'm sorry, directly. You have this, but you could easily smoke it and get around it if you're the allies. Bulldozer getting a nice shot on the Grand Ears. MG point blanking them as well with the howitzer providing support of fire. Yeah, curious position. Panzer Force could move up and hit target. But again, most of the riflemen were, uh, did pull back. There's some groups, but not as many. You still have the S-285 and AT guns, so maybe not. Probably not a good idea unless you smoked it. 
Allies desperately trying to hold this fuel, though German counterattack is in route. Pens full slayers with uh, Volk squads moving on in. MG and AT gun on standby, trying to go a nice little defensive line. Smoke coming down, but it's on the Bofur. I really would have done against this. So you got kind of close. Also, I'm very surprised that you, do, you don't give your. You didn't. More smoke coming down. I'm really surprised Panzer Commander isn't being called in. Sure, the pa Panzer uh, Panther is barely alive, but you could have easily called it in. Alas, you used smoke, but a good concentration barrage right there would have killed it. For, or commander, whatever the, the barrage you get with the commander ability. Meanwhile, troops being pushed, uh, push, trying to push in, but last getting pushed back. White Foster is coming in, pushing back the AT gun, so that at least armor should be able to move in, or just move in the entire blob on this thing's flank. No, it's pulling back. He realizes what's up. Scout car easily able to come in for a flank, but resource-wise, munitions is tied because of course, but fuel-wise, it's. Honestly, going to the Axis. So, good job there. Lucky Paper also doing very well. We're looking at the Axis, and they're averaging, what, low 60s? While the Allies are in, like, mid-50s. So, right now, Allies, they're doing well, but they need to start gaining more men. Otherwise, the Germans will just keep using their overall supremacy and keep pushing them back. And to be fair, I think they are for the most part, though their attack on left did fail. Although, they did kill this. I'll give them credit. They did kill this. I think it was the Stuka that did that. Which, by the way, only 12 kills. Come on. S-85 needs heals desperately. Don't know why you have it on the front unless you're really desperate. Like, seriously. Get the thing some heals. It deserves some healing. Anyway, artillery breaking this area down. It knocks out the howitzer. What the hell? Hold on. There oh, there it is. I th looked like an AT gun for a second. Like, oh, that's AT gun. But no, he has a howitzer. Actually getting a ton of... Actually up to vet one. 15 kills. Holy shit. 17 kills this howitzer is doing work oh my god 20 this howitzer is like fuck you fuck you fuck you and a special f you to the su-85 that somehow got its range even though it's hitting this area god bless that uh, howitzer anyway unfortunately at gun's dead uh katusha's opening fire might decrew it if it gets a couple more lucky hits Definitely hits the engineer squads because for some reason he didn't pull further back with it. This guy's building more artillery. We have a spam going on. Meanwhile, on the far right, Panzer Force pushing back the armor and infantry. But the AT gun's still sticking around. It's like, I'm not leaving. I will not leave my home. It looks like we have... Oh, Overwatch. AT Overwatch coming in. Panzer Force need to pull back. AT gun did die. But I would... If I was Panzer Force, if there, this wasn't in town, I would attack it to kill all that shit. But... Because of that's in play, you're going to need to pull back. Now, luckily, the S-285 is being flanked by the Panzer IV. It is in AT range, so AT Overwatch will start coming down. But it should be able to kill the S-285 in time and then get the hell out of there. Good work, good work, good work. So, that's a lot of that's a lot of stuff for the Allies dead. Spartacus still has a good chunk of infantry and um, artillery support. But he doesn't have a ton of AT. He has one unit. But, yeah, something to consider. We do have... A priest over here. Oh, sorry, Sexton. Which might be an issue for the uh, artillery back here. Now, the Valentine's coming in. I'm unsure why. Unless he's calling in artillery on these things, which they it doesn't look like it. I think it was trying to kill him, but its main gun got knocked out. So it's like, uh, unfortunately, that will not happen. But we have, do have artillery coming in. We have some type of flare coming in. Concentration barrage on the Panzerwerfer. Might get a kill. Might get lucky. This thing's up to vet too, by the way. Hot damn. Airburst coming in. Might be able to kill that Panzerwerfer. Gets a great shot in and kills it dead on. Good job, allies. So at least you knocked that out. Valentine wasn't worth uh <laughs> bruh. Wait, Boris Johnson, you literally didn't do anything. Wait, is this the real Boris Johnson? I feel like this could be the real Boris Johnson just by that statement alone. Anyway, uh, Suka coming in. Oh my god. Murdering a lot of the American forces. Brutally. Uh, Grandier's trying to hold the front. Uh, artillery fire coming in. And again, I think he needs to put a medical or something down. Oh, never mind. He has a half track. He's trying to heal with that. Not a bad idea. Artillery's hitting over here. Which, a little bit better to hit maybe a little bit closer to home. Although, that's being pushed back. And the other howitzer's hitting over here. Not a bad idea. Try to break up a lot of this stuff. And I like how he's saying... Oh, good frag bomb. Two for one. Hot damn. Good job. 
Meanwhile, Allied Forces pulling on back. The There's a Tiger now in mid. Uh, this is OKW Tiger, so it's actually Command Tiger. So, yeah, it starts actually helping others. So, yeah, you may want to watch out for that thing. Anyway, Panther coming on in. There is AT gun here. At least the Allies aren't skipping out the AT. They actually have a decent amount for the most part. Try to hold the line, but they're going to need more. God damn, especially against a Tiger. Now, luckily, they have a Sherman and a Jackson. The Sherman, by the way, can be equipped. equipped in. If we look here. Oh, hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it can't be. I thought... No, no, no. I'm sorry. That's that's the other one. I think that's the 76 millimeter. You get better rounds. Easy gates. So you don't get the heavier rounds against for heavier armor. MG. Gonna need to hold here uh, the best it can. Oh, hi, Cat. You're, I know. You're trying to help me out. Thank you. Thank you, Cat. She's, all, she's my stress ball, alright? If I need help during the replay, she's like... She just comes over and is like, Aw... I, I'm just going nap here, but if you want to pet me, that that's fine, human. That that's acceptable. Meanwhile, uh, Great Ear is trying to come in to save this Panther. Panther pulls back just in time. Tiger trying to provide support. Gets a nice shot on the major, pulling it back. Artillery though coming on in. Hot damn! That was a command. That had to be a commander ability. And yeah, these two are pulled back. Oh, let me check. Yep, use the artillery on the Panther. Both armored vehicles now out of action for that arty strike, making the Tiger just walk over and just start kicking ass and taking names for this infantry. We do have air support coming on in. Although, unfortunately, it's smoke and it's uh, frag bomb, which may have kind of missed a little bit. But Germans did take mid, so overall, Germans doing a pretty damn good job. Artillery, it looks like, is also coming in that sector, I believe. Yes, it is. Helping push back the infantry. Uh, we have the Overwatch stuff going into effect, so that's going to hurt the armor in mid. Panzer Fort does not give a fuck, although blocking the Panther trying to escape. It's like, ow, 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 ow. Let me out. Let me out. Uh, meanwhile, we have a Panzer IV trying to go up north and most likely try to kill the ambulance or the Sexton. But unfortunately, uh, both the Jackson and Bulldozer are putting an end to it. Although, good frag bomb right there. Kills the Howitzer and a ton of Spartacus's men. Hot damn Spartacus. Oh my god. Well, I think the Howitzers were the Americans. But still, whatever. It killed a lot of it. Plus the, the artillery's coming in. Those things aren't going to live for too much longer. They 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 just aren't. Uh, meanwhile, infantry is pushing right. Grandiers need to pull back. It's very low on health. Um, Howitzer, the artillery, by the way, this one is at 25 kills. This one is at 2. This one is kicking ass. Absolutely. Artillery's like, no, you're not taking that back. Good luck. So, good job there. Meanwhile, we do have on left, we have Lucky Papper trying to push in here. But, on the flip side, we have the clean going a lot of AT with a Bofer just saying, hell no, you will not break our fuel. Because right now, that is very important to the Allies. They're taking a lot of substantial losses with those artillery hits and frag bombs and whatnot. So if they can keep at least their fuel income, they don't have to worry about that um, being a big deterrent. They go, that way, if they lose something, they can get it back. Although, again, unit preservation is always the biggest thing. But to be fair, even to the best of people, you lose units. So having that fuel income is very important so that you have reserves to get more. Katusha firing over here. Stuka firing over here. Not really hitting much. S-85 backed up with the allied armor is now back in mid. Pioneers coming in. Armored Assault. Again, has their artillery that comes down. So not half bad. Brumbar pulling on back. I guess it was trying to move on in get some shots on this. But they're pretty much all dead. All the support equipment there is dead. Brumbar is now dead. Pack guns opening fire on the S-85. Pushing it back. MG not really suppressing for some reason. I, I don't know why it's not shooting. Artillery though comes in to save the day. Of course it does. Oh my god, this artillery piece now at the Vet 3, 26 kills. Hot damn. Artillery's over here, but that's not stopping the Axis from advancing. Grand Ears, again, these things are incredibly potent. But again, you're lack you essentially when you're increasing in anti-infantry, you're making you're unfortunately lacking in anti-armor. Though he is getting Panzer Grand Ears and he has the Panther on standby. So he still has a decent amount. Anyway, good shot of the Panzer Grand Ears squad pushing it back. Grand Ears though in some good cover trying to beat back the riflemen. And doing a damn good job. Riflemen equipped with bazookas, so they're not really equipped to fight other infantry. And yeah, they're being torn apart all over the place. Again, 
Talon just losing another unit by those uh, G43 rifles. Again, the squad leader gets one. Hot damn, plane suicides itself into the MG. Getting a good kamikaze strike for the Germans. Meanwhile, artillery still coming in this sector. Allies, though, being pushed back. Germans on the offensive still with CC bringing up his Panther. Artillery is on standby. Additional armor moving in. We have a second Panther coming on up. We have additional engineer squads, I'm assuming, coming in to heal. Might be able to get a quick kill on that. Jackson, though, coming in to help. Big flank could kill Tusha as well, though. 8T infantry coming on in. Satchel could be thrown. One last shot on it would kill it. Artillery's coming in. Kills to Sherman. Bulldozer and Jackson coming on the flank. S-85 as well. Not sure where the other Axis armor is, but it's finally come into play. Anti-armor strikes coming in. This is a bad engagement. Panther just being annihilated by that artillery uh, call-in. S-85 will probably bite it, though. Or... But the question is, can they kill this armor? Armor stops in it. Will die. Panther barely making it out of here alive. Other Panther saying the hell out of that circle. So overall, that was kind of a mixed bag. I would say, though, the Germans may have lost a little more overall resources, but the Allies are already low, so they can't afford more losses. Suka coming in, though, in mid, I believe. Jackson trying to reposition itself. Suka completely whiffing it. Not sure what the hell it was trying to hit. A lot of AT over here hit pushing back the Panther. I... Panther, uh, you're getting a one-shot, uh, sorry, one model kill, but you're about to lose that thing if you don't retreat, and he will. Don't know why he's not retreating it. Maybe he's busy trying to keep his artillery alive. I'm unsure, but that Panther was just sitting there to die, so good job, Axis. Meanwhile, on the flip side, Grandier's pushing on up on this side. Again, without armor support, I'm unsure why you're doing that. You stopped the bulldozer, but again, it has a repair crew that will get out and heal it, so... Yeah, not a big loss for it, honestly. You just kind of pin you kind of annoyed it a little bit. The best way to describe it. Anyway, MG defenses and pack gun trying to defend mid, but there's a lot of infantry over here coming in multiple directions. Flamethrower almost killing the pack. Getting very close. Pack gun though pulling on back. Jackson's on standby to push back the half track, which I'm assuming he's coming in to heal. But uh yeah, curious to see. Grand Ears coming on over here. Not a bad idea. Just try to capture all these resources. Allies not doing half bad. They're slowly still keeping up with munitions, but fuel-wise, the Axis are getting better. They put down a lot of caches everywhere. Axis, though, have a ton of fuel. Well, m most part. Akuma, uh, Akuma just got himself a Panther, but th for still the most part, they all have a good amount of fuel. The problem is, uh, <laughs> for the Allies, is they still have a decent army. They're probably upper 60s, if not low 70s. Allies... Uh, like upper 50s, low 60s, so they're getting closer, but they're still losing quite a bit. And these Grandiers, by the way, 31 kills, and uh, this one is 23 kills. So that's a lot of kills for these Grandier squads. Hold on. This one has 23, this one's retreating, this one has 22. So overall, this thing, they have close to 90 kills with these Grandiers. That just shows you the power of these Grandiers and how effectively they're killing this infantry, which they've just un been unable to really fight back with. Um, we do have a Dushka kind of on standby, so maybe he's going to try to reinforce that. Katusha, barely alive. Artillery is firing on it. Both artillery pieces actually are firing on it, I believe. Counter Barrage is active. 33 kills on this one and 13 on this one. A lot of kills. Artillery very close to killing that Katusha, which is just sitting there being like, come on, hit me, hit me, hit me. Hit me! And yeah, the, it's calling the artillery's bluff. They won't hit him. Until it finally does. You can only stare God in the face so long before your eyes start burning from the sun. Any case. Smoke coming down from the try to take it. Although he still retreats, so no, nothing's taking it. Ax uh, sorry, allied forces coming back over here. Grandier's though coming back in full force. This Grandier's still alive, by the way. Um, overall... They, yeah, there's enough forces. The uh, Yeah, those troops are going to want to fall back. Though, Panzer Grenadiers could move in to fight the uh, fight the armor. Honestly, there's not much stopping the Panzer Grenadiers. Oh, bundle grenade. Oh, good bundle grenade. Oh, my God. Pathfinding with the Sherman kind of effed you. But that was a great bundle grenade. getting a double kill on those rear echelons. Very close king killing this. One last shot might. Very low likely with the Panther being low damage on the... Oh, get him on the retreat. 
Hot damn, some good artillery strikes coming in. Meanwhile, allies looks like bringing a lot of forces to retry to, retry to take mid. And right now they need it. They're very low in overall VP. So they need to take it back immediately. Though we have the Sherman and Jackson in mid. Jackson up to vet too. So good job there. And also a lot of really good veterans see for some allied units. Others are fresh and new. But some of them like the like this mortar pit. Not, still alive after all this time. Which is good. Anyway, unfortunately for others. Uh, yeah, it, it may not live for long. Because... It, Unfortunately for the remaining allied members, if they if this guy loses his fuel, it's going to be bad. Now, uh, if this guy keeps moving up, he's not going to cap it, and at least the allies will have it for a little bit longer. Meanwhile, Tiger pulling on back. I don't see any major AT. Like, you have the SU-85 pulling back, so at least that 1 AT gun, that's not enough for to hold back a Tiger and a Panther. Meanwhile, allied forces pulling back in mid. Looks like uh, artillery fire is coming in. Knocks out one. The other howitzers are still alive. Called it, said it too quickly, immediately gets decrewed. There goes all the veterancy for it, so good job there. Meanwhile, um, we have a, eh, a good chunk of infantry kind of washing mid. Bunkers still locking it down, and allies stop the VP drain. Right now, axes are in favor of this game, I would say. Although, CC did lose a lot of artillery. Though, it's not like it's dead, it's just decrewed. He can easily reman it and get a huge army back up and running. Hell, if he wants to, we can get an army first and then reman it. So that way, he's in a better position. Although, reinforcing the army would be a bit harder. But Akuma and Lucky Paper both have a huge army, technically. So we'll see how they do. Is it going to be a huge army and they crush? Or is it going to be a huge army in their France and they capitulate very quickly? Grandier is moving on in and again, ripping apart those riflemen. Double bulldozer giving him hell though, pushing him back. Unfortunately, the bulldozer's not so good on the anti panther stuff. He has a rear echelon squad, which will help. But he's very lucky that uh, this guy doesn't like. If I was him, I would have spread out my grand ears to slowly advance and then moved the panther to hit this stuff if I saw it like firing. Anyway, allied armor is in mid. Uh, wait, is that? Nope, just artillery. I was like, I was like, was that pack? No, Panther Force, though, moving on in against this allied armor. There is a 45mm AT gun, but good luck with that shit. Panther's uh, taking some damage, but so are the allied vehicles, who are barely alive. Additional Panther coming on in. Panther, though, on low health, does pull back. S-85 comes in to help with the flank. Doesn't matter, though. Jackson does manage to, uh, to get blown up by the Panthers, and so is the other unit, barely alive. Again, we have the AT Overwatch, I believe, in effect right now. So it's going to start calling artillery there. Yep, there it goes. AT. You have the AT Overwatch, which I would say so far has been pretty damn effective at holding back the Axis forces and doing damage. So maybe it's not all bad, although I think the other Soviet Doctrine with it might be better. Because then you get, I think you get the KB Flamethrower and the Commissar. I think that one's a little more, uh, a, a little more overall put together. Now, sure, you still have the heavy mortar, but, and he, but he has it, and it hasn't gotten better in C. Smoke comes down, I'm assuming, block the S-25's view. Pack gun, though, giving him hell. Bringing the S-25 down to half health. Again, tank destroyers are great, but if the enemy brings up a pack gun, you need to do something about it. And luckily, it looks like artillery might be being called in, which is doing a lot of damage. Again, stop healing on the front. Like, go back here and heal if you need to. But, yeah, just don't heal on the front. Meanwhile, big armor push on right. Just breaking up a lot of the allied defenses. Again, bulldozers, great. Panthers, gonna murder you. So, yeah, I, I'm not unsure what exactly his game plan is. He has Bazooka Team coming up, but it can't pin. Jackson's coming up. That would at least do damage while the bulldozers take the, you know, take the damage. We'll see. Massive battle. Bulldozers opening fire. We do have additional men coming up. Panzer Idea is just lying in wait. I'm actually surprised. I think he's trying to kill the bulldozers first. Although the rifleman squad, but the, because of the double MG, just being torn apart. And there goes another squad. I'm very surprised he didn't retreat that. Um, yeah, not much coming over. So it's only armor. Honestly, Shermans are pulling. I'm sorry, Panthers are pulling back. But honestly, with Panzer Grenadiers advancing, they could have a good push. Could easily neutralize it. And I believe I could be wrong. But yeah, he does have assault and hold, so he can increase his speed. So, again, he could bum-rush this stuff, kill it, and or take it if he decrews it and maybe get inside. 
Meanwhile, Suka opening fire over here. Getting a couple... I mean, killed the MG, but not maybe as effective as you want it to be. Artillery is still hitting this area. Getting a great shot on those... Uh, sorry, the Royal Engineers. Knocking out repairs and definitely causing havoc in this sector. Uh, meanwhile, big push on right. Bottle grenade going off. That's a big clump. Frag bomb hits his own men, though it does stun a lot of the allied armor. Uh, Panzer Grenadier is trying to get the hell out, but I don't think it's going to live that retreat. Um, uh, Grenadiers may want to back the fuck up. Although, Panther getting some nice shots on the slow retreat. They did do damage to Orange. Orange has no frontline army anymore, so they got all wiped out. So right now, 123 is going to have to keep his men back. And he doesn't have the manpower to bring it up. Spartacus has a beast amount of manpower. Still no frontline army. Though, again, we have a kill, uh, good kill here. SU-85, though, is in a bit of a bit of a crapshoot right now with uh, with no engine and right now pinned. Though, with the AT coming in, I think Panther's best bet to fall back, even though he didn't kill the unit. I think there's just too much there. Smoke coming in to uh, allow for his escape. Armor push on left. Oh, my God. This Churchill's so close to dying. But he manages to live, even with all this Axis artillery. Stuka opening fire. I'm assuming hitting them on a retreat. Oh my god, run. Run, Engineers like... <laughs> run, 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 run. And luckily he did make it. Tiger Tank though getting some nice shots. Frag Bomb coming in. Pinned it. Oh wait, no, it actually just blocked sight. Actually will manage to live. S-85 over here with Bazooka teams. That Tiger is screwed. Might get a kill. Smoke coming in. Direct fire. Does manage to get the kill. Unfortunately, he doesn't make it. So I guess if that was a suicide run, congrats, he killed it. AT assault coming in, as you can see. Oh my god, just annihilating that panther. Not even a competition with all the bazooka teams. And yeah, there goes Akuma's forces. Akuma still has enough to get more, but that's a lot of his armor down the drain. So that's going to limit his capabilities. Now, luckily, uh, this gentleman still has all his armor and some good veterancy. But Akuma definitely is going to be a while before he gets his fighting strength back meanwhile cc has a lot of artillery now he's counteract the british artillery the clean's actually been doing a decent job with his sections as well opening fire i also haven't seen any breakthrough attempts which are they're, they're, they're keeping their already in the most valuable units safe at least and again i quote this at least from other units on direct attack artillery on the other hand because of the concentrate uh, sorry the counter barrage seems to be trying to focus in Oh, maybe they don't have counter barrage, but they're hitting the Katusha, so at least they know where it is. It's very close. They're very close to killing. Katusha opening fire, though, missing the blob. Uh, Boris Johnson, uh, again, Solace's Panthers still pushing right. Boris Johnson, again, do not underestimate him. Doing very well with his Grandiers, and overall pushing back 1 2 3. 1 2 3, still no frontline army. He's slowly getting more. But if I was him, kill the AT gun, kind of take over this area, and you got all the supplies in the world. Axis now taking more and more supplies away from the Allies, which is huge. Because if they can take over those supplies, that's what? Six fuel? That's 50 fuel per turn and 62 munitions. That's insane if they can get these supplies under their control. Meanwhile, they still have the middle VP, which is currently, again, another ticking time clock on the Allies. The Allies are down in two ways. Now, luckily, with their, some of the caches they put down, they're, they're not out of the woods yet. There's some areas they haven't put down a cache, like here. But And again, all the ones in the north got blown up. But overall, they're, yeah, things are not looking all that great for the... Uh, hold on, are they getting these supplies? I honestly can't tell. I honestly can't tell if they're getting these supplies. I'm assuming they're getting these supplies. Because it's not blinking. But I don't know. Anyway, mid... Big allied counterattack. They're trying to push on in. A lot of armor moving on in with infantry. Unfortunately, the Germans are like, uh, yeah, we have our own armor. But Churchill's going to give it a go. The Clean's pushing on up with AT infantry as well. Good satchel over here, blowing up some good men. We have AT uh, support as well coming in. And actually, it's hitting everything here. So this could be a good hit if they can keep sight. Meanwhile, the anti uh, the anti tank artillery st um, still coming in while well, SU-85's coming in to clean house. They're charging in it. That's a bad move. Too many bazooka teams. Uh, we can see all Panthers die in this engagement. This Panther is barely alive. There it goes. Tiger Tank's barely alive. And in one false swoop, the Allies manage to possibly cripple the Axis armor. Smoke's coming down to stop them from firing, but it's too late. 
Tiger Tank is so close. Oh my god. And the Bazooka Team with a final shot kills the Tiger before escaping. Grandier is ignoring the big push, which, by the way, artillery is now in range. So, yeah. CC has been uh, clipped pretty well. He could get himself uh, something, but no, he's just focusing on the Panther. Enough Bazooka Teams, though, they do kill the artillery. Another one comes in, kills the other artillery. Good job there. Again, good, honest push with the allies. Now, Lucky Paper still has a good army, but he, and he's pushing on left. He broke left. That's why the British player came in. And Great Frag Bomb pushing back the remaining red forces, which relieves him with two engineer squads. Not exactly a lot overall. Um, artillery, Sexton's pulling on back. S85's on standby. Good job, by the way, Spartacus, covering your allies. We see you bouncing back and forth a lot. You're not keeping all our front line men alive, but hot damn. You're doing a really good job at least making sure your S-85s are holding back the armor. And again, good counterattack against that ally. I'm sorry, the Axis armor over here. Now again, Kuma could get some more men, but he still doesn't have enough to get a full army back. Allies right now, we're kind of all over the place a little bit. They're, I would say, low 60s, upper 50s. Axis right now are upper 50s, mid 50s, around there. They're slightly lower now. They're not out of the woods yet. Again, they still have more resources right now than the allies and they can easily make it back in a lot of ways plus if this stuka comes in how i think it might oh nope goes the opposite way come this way you could have really crippled the su-85 they're getting very close to getting up to vet 3 which is a very nasty su-85 to fight pan's grand here so he'd probably be good and he doesn't have a lot of friendly infantry so maybe uh, with the okw though we can't really do that I mean, don't worry, Payne's full sleeves could fill in that role, but he's near pop cap, so we we can pretty much guess that's not going to happen. Tiger Tank, though, again, 40 kills. This thing has done wonders. Lucky Paper has given him hell. Plus, on right, you have Boris has just been smashing, utterly smashing 1, 2, 3 in this sector. And at this point, 1, 2, 3 has been cut off from his major lane. So, yeah, he's playing defensive next to his base. The German player is so far away, but... This guy is literally next to the German, I'm sorry, the Allied base. Allied force, I'm sorry, German force managed to take back mid. Going in, I, I, I don't know what it was trying to shoot. Maybe the infantry. Grandier's coming in to get some nice shots. Again, right now, resource-wise, allies are down. Significantly, they're down. Now, the one benefit, one benefit is the fact that this guy, Boris, has to get all of his men so far away up to the front, which takes him time, which should allow one, two, three. Hopefully, a swifter counterattack to retake this area. Meanwhile, Spartacus coming on in, opening fire on something that tried to retreat. I assume tried to retreat. Blob coming on in. We have a frag bomb coming in. What the hell is this? No, Panzer Commander. That's what it is. He's not falling for it, though. He's not falling for it. Although, we have some really good armor. So, again, it's going to be a little bit harder to kill. Meanwhile, this stuff is over here. We have a frag bomb coming out of these units. And you can say goodbye to them. Yep, there goes that. Meanwhile, uh, Panther try. I mean, Tiger trying. I would honestly go on an artillery strike there. Uh, looks like we do have a direct strike coming in. He sees that, though. He pulls back. And again, the Tiger's pulling in here because he thought they were going to give chase. Frag Bomb kills the engineer squad there. So, hey, you're killing units. You killed the unit. Good job. Allies, I think, kind of really focus. Oh, okay, he has armor. I mean, infantry. Um... A lot more armor I'm seeing than infantry on the allied side, which could be good or bad. If the Axis can keep busting their armor, it's bad. If the allies can keep it alive, it's good. Good shot here. Uh, Sherman is barely alive. So close. One last shot. But again, that's a lot of shit right there. And you have artillery coming in. This guy goes in way too many times for that strike. We do have sector artillery coming in. But looks like this guy... Nope. <laughs> of all things, the Churchill's like, you will not escape. And, uh, yeah, he doesn't. Although, grenade is being thrown here. Uh, pack gun opening fire, but alas, Churchill survives. Artillery now coming in mid. And we have a big push up on in the north. Sherman Bulldozer are coming around the flank. These guys just shredding the rear echelons. Hot damn. Like, I don't know what you do as the allies. You're like, in, the, in this situation... You are literally being pinned by German units 
literally probably 50 feet outside of your base and you have heavy armor still this is the hell of a push panthers now engaging they're trying to get close bulldozers pulling on back but they're trying to move on in again they have these but I, there's no mine set up so the panthers should be just fine panthers don't give a fuck they're pushing in against those bulldozers they know there's no at they know there's nothing stopping them Meanwhile, infantry kind of just chilling out on this sector. Curious. Very curious to see what happens. Now, let's see. Uh, this thing is being shredded once again by the Grandiers. It will probably die. Uh, yep. Ha ambulance is gone, so there goes healing. Our, some artillery is coming in. We have a big flank coming in. Oh, boy. We have a flank coming in. A Talon just taking this opportunity while the guy has most of his force up north as well although these things are still they're still shredding from that far away although pulling back now i'm assuming from jackson opening fire jackson barely alive one shot it's done if he moves up he could hit it but anyway we have another flank coming in the churchills of all things have moved up but they don't have a main gun so uh if i was him i would move up his armor which he is to go fight that meanwhile tiger by akuma's coming in to clear out this infantry by Talon. A lot of deep strikes by the Allies trying to get a good hit. Maybe cut off supplies to the Germans. Honestly, it's kind of working. If they can knock out some of these supplies and take this point, at least the VP point that, that's been like hampering them this entire game will no longer be in effect. But unfortunately, the Churchills, uh, yeah, um, Panther might be able to get... Panther sides to shoot wildly to the right. I have no idea why. Artillery's coming in, and again, CC is right now the weakest link of this game. He keeps losing quite a bit, but he's still fighting. He's still fighting. Anyway, uh, we still have this guy in the north, and honestly, this guy has been pulled back pretty far. He still has a lot of armor. We look here, he still has three armored units, but his infantry just can't live. He's getting another Jackson, so that might help, and a big armor force could overwhelm these Panthers, but they have bazookas, they have Panzerfaust. You can easily w wipe them out. Now, his best chance is hit their weakness. Now, that that's mid. Unfortunately, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is a situation where if the flanks are currently being hit and you can't break them on the flanks, then the best shot you can possibly do is a charge straight down the middle. Now, if you're a historian, you know what I'm referring to and you know that ended horribly for that uh, army, aka General Lee in the Confederacy, Gettysburg. But in this scenario, with armor and a good front, I think it's possible. Now, it looks like the Germans are pushing in mid right now, which may contradict that statement, though Heavy Mortar just brutalized the squad over here. Might get a second one. Probably will get a second squad wipe. S-85 hang the flank. We got another Jackson, uh, sorry, Sherman hang the flank. This guy's trying to blitz away, not fast enough. T this guy is... Nearly 4,000 manpower. Holy fuck. You cannot keep Lucky down. Lucky's like... You haven't seen me at my full potential. I'm only using a tenth of my power. Now excuse me as I pull out the rest of it. And literally just pumps out a ton of troops. Sherm uh, sorry, Panther's moving on in. Getting some nice shots on the bulldozers. Though the Jackson... Uh, wait, I'm sorry. Are these Jacksons or Wolverines? Okay, they're, they're Jacksons. I swear. I had a second there. I'm like, are they are they Wolver uh, sorry, are they uh are they Wolverines? Because then it would be less effective. Also, this guy needs to bring up his Panzer ideas. I don't know where the fuck they are. Okay, they died. The ones they are thinking about with the Panzer Shreks, they died. Anyway. Unfortunately, uh Akuma just came in and just uh hold on. I think that was Hold on, hold on. That was Talon. Yeah, Talon got declawed. Talon got declawed. His entire front got knocked out. Spartak is still trying with his AT stuff. Might be able to kill the uh, uh, Tiger on the retreat. That would be big because Akuma doesn't have the resource to get a Tiger out soon. The S-85, though, crippled engine. Trying to keep pace. Luckily, Major coming with Bazooka. Gives sight and hits it with Bazooka T to knock that son of a bitch out. Akuma calling a frag bomb. So many good frag bombs. And just murders that unit. Uh, Panther pulling on back. I'm assuming he has a bunch of... Yeah, he does. Pioneers to quickly heal. He's healing 
as quickly as the Americans, if not faster. God damn, I love the, this game. Somehow Boris Johnson is showing that he is in this game and he is fucking the Americans dry. Is this kind of is is this guy secretly Donald Trump? Is one two three secretly Donald Trump? <laughs> I don't know if I if I'm gonna have like a leader speech, then probably th then probably this person is Angela Merkel. I'm just pointing it out there. <laughs> Angela Merkel's just like I don't understand what's going on. Why everyone's not as good as us right now? We're just keeping everyone afloat with our just resources. Anyway, uh, Panther charging again, uh, a little too much. Uh, luckily, Spark is bringing up this uh, SWD five to once again help out. Panzer Shrek still coming on in, might be able to help kill the Churchill if a Panzer Faust. Up, oh, they enough Panzer Faust and more Panzer Shreks firing. Smoke going at it, might be able to block it. Oh, Stuka going the wrong way, hurting the SWD five. I don't know why. This three-star Panther is going in deep. Though Boris has enough resources, he's doing fine. Kills the Jackson. Good airtime. Pulling on back. We have frag bomb coming on in. Oh, from behind. Oh, gets a good some kills here, but definitely a squad right there. Another frag bomb coming in. That thing can't shoot for shit. Oh, so close, so very close. Bulldozer is dead. Boris just. He's literally fighting two armies next to the allied base, and he's still holding. Unfortunately, these Grandiers might have a terrible retreat path and retreat into the blob, which if that's the case, he may lose it. Oh my god, yep. Although, they're still weak. This guy might be able to hold the line. He still has a bazooka team, by the way. Panther, still fine. The other one's being healed. This one's going back at it, and he's still giving him hell. Luckily, Rifleman Squad's holding the line. Reman the AT gun. Not enough infantry on the front. How again? Maybe with the MG, maybe you can hold that back. But there's way too much stuff here. Meanwhile, in mid, also more stuff going on. We have a Churchill going at it. Tiger coming in from the south. Again, British infantry desperately trying to hold mid to stop the VP point. But the Allies have inflicted major ca major casualties on the Germans, at least on some of them. CC is taking a lot of hits and is losing a lot of men. Though, once again, God. Damn, Boris is not letting him go. Tiger Tank, once again, he got a new one, but, and again, they have enough resources for it. Spartacus did lose his S-285, but I'm assuming he has a decent amount, he does, a decent amount of reserves. Not as much as Lucky Paper. Lucky Paper's like, you gonna kill anything of mine? If so, it's uh, gonna be out in two seconds. Come at me, bro. Anyway, uh, Stuka coming in, killing the mortar. Not really hanging anything else, and what axe is pulled back again. Ally still at this point, they're re they could technically retake mid with just a single engineer squad. There's not much. To oh, oh, never mind. Here comes the blob. Although Katusha could stop them, or Sex. I mean, right now the Sexton's kind of opening fire, but they kind of need to move more stuff around, and also heals. Heals are important. Meanwhile, goddamn, I Boris is Boris is currently has my full attention. He had my curiosity, but now he has my attention. It's it, He has caused so much hell for these allied players next to the base, which should be the easiest thing to just push them out at because it's like, well, it's the Vermont. They don't have a frontline base. Who fucking needs it with this guy? Meanwhile, Axis Force is giving them uh, the allies hell, retaking mid. There's not much stopping him. There's Katusha Fire. Gets a great hit on those units, though. Good squad. Oh, my God. CC... They're killing CC. They're killing, but it doesn't matter. Talon has been declawed, and he doesn't exactly have much of a frontline force. His Bazooka team did help out, but yeah, there's not much of a force there. A little bit, a little bit more than, uh, a little bit more than CC, but not much. Meanwhile, Lucky Paper is advancing, calling in a nice uh, artillery strike. Luckily, Spark has seized that. For smoke coming in. Again, we have uh, Panther. Possibly prepping on left. Probably a bad idea. I'm assuming these guys will at least easily swing around and fight them. Meanwhile, Axis. Here's the thing. They just need to hold mid. As long as they hold mid, they're fine. They're good. They're all, they're all set to go. Meanwhile, I'm sure this guy has to be pissed. This guy has to be annoyed as hell. One, two, three. He's like, I need to take back this side. And luckily, he at least took back the north and this point. So the allies are getting some resources back, which is going to help them out. 
Now, uh, again, and the Allies still, by the way, have a huge army. Talon is down, but uh, equally, CC is down. So this is still anyone's game. Either side could take this fight. And a good, a good squad wipe right here could do wonders. And Churchill's like, maybe that'll be me. S-85 still there. Spark is still dunking on the Allied armor. Although, Mass Panzer Strike's coming in and unfortunately does a lot to the Churchill. Grenade going off on it as well. Not doing all that much because it's a goddamn grenade on Churchill. Bouncing shots. Churchill will escape. Artillery, though, coming in. Getting great shots. We have, we have a five-star Tiger right now. Holy crap. A five-star Tiger. This is a... Again, thank you to the person who submitted this because this is amazing. Allied charge coming on in. Panther rushing in. CC, you're you're about to be declawed of your armor. Oh my god. A couple good shots long range and that thing is gone. Oh, you're so lucky that thing escaped. Panther they're coming in to take the shots. S285 is advancing, but Grandier is kind of in their way. Allies did take mid, but a Panzer uh, full sleeve squad come on the flank, though. MG uh, Dushka stopping them. Good, good howitzer hit. Panther coming in on the Jackson. Jackson up the Vet 3. He's like, no, 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 no. This bulldozer, I'm sorry, got knocked out by the Panther, and this bulldozer are alive. This Jackson, oh my god. Oh my god. Clutch McGee coming and saves it. Unfortunately, uh, yeah. And this, uh, Sherman, I, oh my god. This Sherman literally could turn around and kill it, but nope, it's charging this way. Please. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, get one shot. The Panther said F you. <laughs> I was gonna say, if the Panther actually snuck behind it and the tur it like turned its gun around it, that would've been hilarious. But finally, one of the allied, one of the this guy's uh, Panthers did die. Unfortunately, Boris has more than enough manpower fuel to get a new one, but at least it did die. Meanwhile, his infantry is just coming up to take it. His Panzer Grenadier squads, by the way, he did lose one. But the other ones still have, like, so many goddamn kills. I, I want to see his KD. I absolutely do. Axis forces desperately trying to take mid. Dushka is stopping them. Yeah, kind of, well, at least trying to suppress them. But it's barely alive from the rifle grenade. Meanwhile, Sherman pulling on back. A T-gun pulling back as well. Though, decapping this point, so they're technically not losing BP points. And Bazooka team opening fire on the Panther. Equally a BS move. Uh, forces did get pushed back. Uh, Talon building up his army. Uh, CC, I would say doing that, but I am fully confident he's going to lose his Panther. Though, I will say, this... Ah, uh, 1, 2, 3 can no longer... F although, very, it probably will kill that unit. Panzer Grand Ears is not Boris's strong suit, but everything else... Everything else he's doing quite well in. Everything else is doing quite well in. Anyway, Tiger pushing in directly in mid. Very surprised he didn't kill the Katusha. Tiger may not live. <laughs> Firefly's like, yeah, you're not escaping, buddy. Enough AT for the round engineers. That thing could possibly die. We shall see. Good artillery strike right here. Great kill on the point. Smoke coming on in. Grenadiers do not care. Artillery comes in. Sure. And just murders it. Is that a sexton opening fire on that? Okay, I don't think it is. Anyway, our t uh, they're fighting in mid. Grandiers, though, pulling on back. I would assume to retake this point. Luckily, this guy is finally capturing this side. His Jackson did leave, so that's his saving grace right now. But he needs a lot more. He doesn't have the fuel for it because, again, they need those resources. The resources up here are valuable. That's 15 munitions and about 9 fuel that right now is going to the Germans. Artillery is coming in, getting some decent hits. But nothing too critical. It's not hitting the Panzer Grenadiers or anything. Stuka coming in, though. Uh, low friendly fire damage, but that never hurt anyone. Okay, it did hurt people, but y you get my point. It, they're still taking it. Tiger, five star, just not caring, advancing. Smoke coming in. Uh, bulldozers are trying to stop them, although the double bold uh, Panther right here, which could move up and really do damage against this stuff. S285, uh, uh, like. They need support, but unfortunately Spartacus could get more, but unfortunately doesn't have that many. A tank destroyer is being pushed back again. Tiger just like, what are you going to do? Off at five. Bore, uh, I'm sorry, not Boris. Uh, Lucky Paper still is at 1,500 fuel. My God, this guy's path. Like, unit preservation. 
Stuka has 41 kills. Loops is still alive after all this time. Actually, I'm surprised on that. Uh, Panther and Tiger still advancing. Panzer Grandier is pushing on in. S85 and Katusha in uh, harm's way. Close range Katusha strike could go, but he gets cold feet and stops the advance. Maybe he saw the infantry. Not entirely sure. Major trying to decap it. Unfortunately, fails. This guy needs to desperately hold this point. Mine it. Block it. Do whatever you need to do. Make sure he can't advance there because... I, I think this guy's like, yeah, I'm just going to focus back over here because I've killed that guy so much. I need to focus mid. That's exactly what he's doing. Panzer, uh, sorry, not Panzer. Normal Grandiers are advancing, getting quite a number of good shots and pushing back a lot of the Allied forces. Smoke coming down as well. Again, with Jackson trying to hit the flank but not doing much because it's a tank destroyer. Oh, my God. Uh, British Infantry opening fire. Panther going in deep and hard. Again, further Katusha, I assume, but there's too much here they might not be able to kill anything honestly akuma might lose the panther if they all get a good hit luckily gets the hell out of there we have a direct strike coming in or frag bomb frag bombs coming in kills katusha pan's grandier is coming on in su85 is probably gonna get knocked out yep there it goes and i think that's the end of the allies uh, yep, there goes the bulldozer. Jackson's trying to provide support fire. They just don't have enough Jacksons. They need more AT. Oh my god, this panther's like, remember me? I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> remember me? Oh, bazooka team coming in from the back. Talon helping out. Oh, doing a blitz? Oh, nope, getting around. Jackson kills the vet three. There goes the... He's like, finally got revenge. The panther's like, I'm not risking it. Uh, yeah, Boris losing too much. Yeah, he needs to pull back. Although, he's getting another Panther, so... Yeah, he's, he's still doing fine. He's still doing fine. Allied forces losing mid. Right now, it's, uh, it was close. It was very close. But, uh, Axis are, looks like going to be able to retake mid. A Allied forces coming in in a last-ditch effort, but they, they're lacking a lot of resources and manpower. Clean is still doing great. He still has a full army. Um... Unfortunately, I think Lucky Paper's just been more effective with that army. Uh, the other allied forces are in the mid-50s, while the Axis forces... I mean, even CC has built up a lot. Good frag bomb, but... Tons of good frag bombs! Hot damn. Yep. They're holding pretty damn well. Satchel going off. I think this GG. Panzerwerfer coming in. Doesn't really hit anything. Panther coming in the north. Jackson being pushed back. Again... Get some nice shots, but overall that Panther is probably going to give chase because there's nothing to lose. Suko opening fire in mid. Uh, not much. Uh, too much artillery coming down. Allies might be able to stop them, but they're not going to be able to hold it. I find it very unlikely they'll be able to hold. Meanwhile, again, we have... Oh my god, Jackson uh, trying to give the... Trying to keep this Panther at bay, but unfortunately he's kind of sacrificing the other allied units here quite a bit. Jackson, again, be playing like coy, because he can't get too close, because the panther might kill it, but can't go too far. Sexton might live in this scenario. Panther pulling on back. Jackson might get one last shot. Nope. Manages to escape. Meanwhile, middle is pretty much broken. Panthers are breaking through. Although, Fireflies are s still here. Or a Firefly. So, and a, a tank destroyer coming in. Spark is might have Need to get one a little sooner. AT grenade thrown. It's dead. Although a Sexton did die. And artillery did hurt some of the infantry. Armor is desperately trying to get mid. Unfortunately, resource wise, allies not doing very well. Anti tank strafe not even close. Panzer Grenadiers coming in, getting a nice bundle grenade and killing a lot of the infantry over here of Talons. Yeah, the Allied lines pretty much collapsed at this point. There's some artillery and tank destroyers in the back, but I think the Allies have pretty much given up and there it goes overall great game thank you spartacus on the allied side for submitting this replay uh this was a great game thank you so very much he is a shock troop supporter on my patreon so thank you so much again for your support on patreon and thank you for submitting a replay you're again if you're an rng god or b fortune supporter and specifically the rng gods who literally pay me extra for you know it, well, at least having Fraulein access to the replays, you may want to use it. But in any case, uh, let's go over uh, overall damage. Boris Johnson with 84,000. Close to 85,000 damage. 
Holy God. Uh, unfortunately, CC somehow got a positive KD. Not entirely sure. Um, most kills, by the way, with Boris with 366. Hold on. Boris, I'm assuming it was Grand Ears, right? Your Grand Ears. Hold on. Good job with that, uh, with the AT guns. No 40,000 damage with the Panthers. Holy God. I, 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 ha like, th I'm assuming the Grand Ears had to hit, hit 200. Like, they had, they had to. They did 15,000 infantry damage. Like, for freak's sake. I, okay, if efficiency is anything to go by, if I had to assume. If I, okay, efficiency is anything to go by. I could be wrong, but is it total to the cost of the unit? Or some, is, is it cost of the unit? And overall, like, damage it does? So, I mean, like, if it's 2,000 efficiency, it, you could theoretically say it did 6,000 damage. I, I, I guess, or like overall, like uh, population, right? Six, six thousand manpower was murdered brutally by the Grand Ears, right? Anyway, um, I'm making up numbers in my head. I'm assuming it had to be over two hundred for these things, because, goddamn, they they killed like they killed a lot. They killed a hell of a lot of infantry. Uh, Panthers did a great job again with armor, but again, that's armor. Um. Going back over here, damage-wise, uh, Sparkus, your S 5 saved the day numerous times. Unfortunately, I think you need to keep him out, but overall, yeah, you were, like, you tried. Talon is probably the weakest link. Uh, didn't get as many kills and definitely took a lot of losses, but 1-2-3 put up a hell of a fight for fighting next to the base. Clean did very well for holding his side, though I will say I'm surprised you didn't get more kills. For the amount of artillery you had, I'm really surprised. Like, even CC had more kills, which is surprising, because he got brutalized throughout this entire game. But yeah, that goes to show, honestly. It's like, a, like again, if you have some really good players, again, they can just hold down the flanks. And again, you can fight the enemy as the Vermont with no forward base or headquarters next to the enemy base and still hold off based on tactics. So it just goes to show, A, you don't need a frontline base, and uh, B... Like, really good tactics, tactics. And also, most importantly, Armor Company sucks. That's probably the most important thing. Uh, but no, no. Um, honestly, it was a very close game. Uh, tank Destroyer-wise, I think the Allies had a few more. A few more good hits. Maybe they would have knocked it out. Very good infantry as well provided Germans. Though key, like, they weren't able to really successfully knock out these Grand Ear squads. Um, even with the heavy mortar stuff like that. Uh, they did knock out the heavy artillery in the back, which was CC's forces. But so I guess heavy artillery wasn't too bad of a factor. Sexton's as well didn't get too many kills, which I'm actually a little surprised about. But yeah, um, actually clean. Yeah, it was mostly AT guns, right? Yeah, 18,000. Honestly, uh, 36 kills with so many sex. How many Sexton's did you get? They're only 36 kills. That's Stuka got more. You got four. Okay, so a little bit of a waste, in my opinion. Because, like, again, if we go over to Lucky and we check his Stuka. By the way, a freaking great Stuka and a great Tiger. Like, holy shit, this Tiger. Uh, yeah, they're very good. 71 kills. Again, a lot of other good kills as well. And how well do you do, Lucky? You got... Ah, well, I'm actually surprised. You got third on damage. But, and even third on kills. I thought you were doing easily the best. But, I mean, to be fair, you were on more of a front that was not really active. So, maybe that's it. You, you didn't really engage as much uh, compared to Boris. And uh, CC, you kind of lost a lot more. But he was more in, I guess, direct line, direct combat. But, yeah, that's game. Again, remember, guys, submit your replays to GrayShotProductions at gmail.com. And I'll take a look at it. But, it's been GrayShot17. And I'll see you guys next time. Wait a second, before you guys go, I have a couple people I need to give a shout out to because they are so amazing, awesome, and just really supportive of my content. Those people include Malam, Ace, White Hot D, Josh, Folkford, Javi, Jofo, Joey, Junior Chicklist, Little Koosh, Moustache, Only Play Apples, Pyroshark, Streak and Wookie, GTA, Jacob Oswai, and Kevin Gao. Thank you guys so much for your incredible support. You guys are amazing. This has been GrayShot17, and I'll see you guys next time.